What does art sound like? Is it the soft brushstrokes of a painter's canvas? Or the rhythmic tapping of a sculptor's tool? What about decor? Is it the comforting rustle of curtains or the delicate chime of decorative objects? Both art and decor have the power to create a symphony of sounds that resonates within a space. But beyond the sounds they produce individually, how do they unify spaces and people within a community? Join us as we delve into the fascinating journey of Mia Mel, her passion for uplifting local artisans, and her unwavering commitment to connecting people through the power of art in this edition of The Sounds of the Community. Welcome to the Sounds of the Community series, where we take a deep dive into the stories of inspiring individuals who have made a significant impact in their community. Get ready to immerse yourself into the sounds of the community. In the heart of the lively downtown Ontario Arts District, a vibrant mural-clad building stands out amongst the crowd. This is Holt and Palm a home decor and furnishing retail store, real estate, and construction services establishment. But it's not just a place to shop, buy a property, or renovate your home. No, Holton Palm is the embodiment of Mia Mel's vision for unity within the community. Why did you come to Ontario? Okay, well, um, we bought a building. Mm -hmm. Well, the interesting part is we saw this building like 14 years ago. So we, we had an office and um, so we were looking, we were like, this office is horrible, we need a pool office. So we were searching all over and in that search, we found this building and it was for sale and it was abandoned and it had been abandoned like 10 or 20 years at that point, maybe longer. And, um, and we looked at it, but we weren't able, it was like a whole ordeal and it was like too much for us at that time to deal with. It, right. it was an empty shell, so it needed like a major rehabilitation. So then we ended up uh, finding a location in Claremont uh, in the village, which we ended up staying there for like 12 years. But then, you know, COVID and everything, we just wanted to change. So we were like, um, we're like, remember that building we saw like a long time ago? And um, we remembered it, but we didn't remember where it was. Yeah. We we're like, oh, I think it's downtown and I let's just go find it so literally during you know lunch we just cruised down here from Claremont and just drove around the downtown looking for this building and we found it it was still abandoned it was all boarded up and it still had the same like for sale sign um, it, except it was all faded like it's been there a hundred years and I literally like called the, the sign there was just like a guy and um, he answered he like picked up first ring and I was like, hey, is your building still for sale? And he's like, yeah, um, old dude. And he's like, I'm in Oregon, but I will be in California tomorrow and I will show it to you. So we literally met him the next day and did like a handshake deal in like a couple of minutes. Went into escrow and the weird part is, mm -hmm. as soon as we closed escrow, the guy died. So it kind of feels like it was like meant to be. I know, I and, know. And then it was like, almost like a dying wish for him. I mean, I had to say it like that because it's I like... I mean, I wish he would have like willed it to me or something. But yeah. other than that... <laughs> but apparently he was going for a good vibe and a good feel. Yeah, so many people. In fact, some, one guy said I was in escrow and um, I guess he backed out because of COVID or whatever. But I came back to try to like reignite the escrow and he wouldn't do it. No so way. I I don't know what the deal was, but it did feel a little bit like um, divine, appointment. divine appointments, divine right? appointment. Yeah. It was a happy accident because obviously I wouldn't have met like all the people that I met just having a real estate mm -hmm. office. You know yeah. what I mean? So because yeah. of this, and then this is as soon as we opened, it literally has become like a magnet for artists. I kind of feel like you are pushed in a certain direction, um, yeah. almost unwillingly. Not unwillingly, but I feel like um, we're going with the flow. Yeah. It, yeah. That's what's happened, and we're just going with it. Wow! But it wasn't intentional, and I didn't. I didn't say, "Oh, I'm gonna, you know, do all of these things." In fact, wow. I said, "I will never have a retail store." That's always been like my mantra. <laughs> it's horrible, <laughs> um, and you know, it's, it's stressful and all of that. But yeah, so. 
With this fully reimagined 13,000 square foot historic building adorned with a stunning mural, Houghton Palm has become the go-to destination for all things retail, real estate, and renovation in Ontario, California. Mia had a vision for supporting and uplifting her community, inspired by her deep connection to the people and the place she called home. She knew that investing in art and decor was just the beginning. artwork from Dee Marcellus Cole, who is a very no, well-known um, local artist out of Upland, actually. Um, and she makes all of these amazing paper mache sculptures. So, so on the third Saturday, on Friday, we roll all these desks out mm -hmm. and this space becomes an art gallery. How important are relationships to your business? Everything. Um, I mean, relationships are everything because that's really your only differentiator. Otherwise, you're, you know, a lot of businesses are commodities. So I'm a real estate broker. So, you know, people are going to be like, oh, well, can you do it for 5%? Can you do it? Oh, well, this person can do it for this person's 2,000 2, yeah. flat. At the end of the day, every business boils down to price and becomes a commodity. And relationships are key because if the person likes you, you know, there's nothing better than that. There's nothing better than having that edge of having a good relationship. Yeah. They like you, they trust you, they want to be around you during this transaction. Wow. Um, so I think relationships are everything in everything that we do. Mia Mel's dedication to building a stronger community extended far beyond the doors of Holt and Palm. For her, the commitment to customers went beyond the home buying process. Understanding the challenges homeowners face during the construction process, Mia and her husband expanded Houghton Palm Services to include construction expertise and assistance. She believed that by offering this support, she can ensure a customer's dreams will come true. The impact of Mia and her husband's commitment was evident in the joy and satisfaction of her customers. They knew they had found a partner who cared not only about their real estate journey, but also about their happiness and fulfillment. That's also the cool part about kind of being a part of the community mm -hmm. um, is that, you know, you're dealing with people who live close by and who are local and um, you're going to see them again. Mia Mel understood that art could bridge gaps and serve as a common language that brings people together. It was through art and decor that she married her community. Mia sought out local artists, inviting them to showcase their creations inside Holton Palm. By doing so, she not only supported their work, but also provided a unique platform for them to share their stories with a broader audience. The impact was profound. The art installations became conversation starters, sparking connections between neighbors and strangers alike. Mia's artistic vision breathed new life into Holton Palm and the community it served. Uh, so tell me a little bit about why you opened up this space. Well, we so we started doing the gallery over at Holton Palm, and that one was going really well. Um, and we had this building that was just sitting here, uh, really. So tell me about the pieces that you select here. Like, how do you select your artists, and how do they come into this, into the space? We have a lot of street art, graffiti art, abstract art. Um, Right now, what you're seeing, this is a local, uh, a group show, all local artists, which is really cool. Um, I mean, some of them literally like, they live like a block away. The coolest part about these artists is they're, most of them are brand new. Like they've never exhibited before. They just, wow. and there's so much talent. And so uh, a lot of them, this was literally like their first show. Unintentionally, we're playing like this, Part of their artistic journey and it's a pivotal part because it's like they're always going to remember the first gallery I showed in you know what I mean or the first gallery that wow. would take my art and gave them the confidence to make more so that's another cool thing so a lot of these artists this was like their first show right mm -hmm. and if you look on their Instagram there's literally zero art now all of a sudden they're painting online they're doing all these things Wow. Because of this, because they felt like confidence and kind of empowered and, and be a part of the community. During the show, you see all the artists talking to each other. They're exchanging Instagrams. 
You see them all following each other now where they didn't know each other before that. So not only are you building communities of artists, but you're also building new relationships yes. that have been formed as a result of all the things you decide to do as a business owner, as an entrepreneur. Yeah, just from having a space where people can come and connect um, and just socialize and, you know, and I don't think Ontario had that for a long time. Yeah. And, you know, it's definitely needed in this area. Hi, Chris, and DeAndre. We, we met through the store. Chris, she's actually one of the first people that, um, that I met and who offered to help me actually curate the art in the in the home palm gallery wow. because she's been in the art community for so long. My son is a walker uh -huh. and we live right up here on Euclid and H and he came home one day and said mom there's this great new story you've got to go check it out I know that you'd love it. But I'm hoping that, that through Mia's uh, enjoyment and and her outward uh, personality and getting all these connections and being open in the dark. And My goal, if anything, is to actually create that community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the, what you said um, about um, what it means to be a part of a community was so important. And it's about patronizing each other's um, yeah. each other's businesses. Frequently. And frequently, right? <laughs> but then yeah. also sharing of the resources and mm -hmm. getting out and walking. I think the most important piece of that is not having to go to other places to, yes. to get your gratification, to feel like you're a part of a, a culture or a community. And yeah. so as the Arts District continues to grow, we do hope that, um, and, and I equally hope that people will begin to come into this area and realize that everything that they want is right here. Yeah. You can meet with other artists, you can develop mm -hmm. those conversations and visit with each other and work on things together. And again, that's yeah. all a part of that relationship building component about For when you sure. come into a community and you truly do engage and marry that community, yeah. it's about staying committed to it and just trying to create those avenues so people can see that you're serious about what you're trying to do. Yeah. And it is your hope that people will reciprocate by actually participating. Fulton Palm is far more than just a haven for home decor, real estate, and construction services. It is a vibrant hub that transcends its physical offerings, acting as a catalyst for unity and creative expression. Beyond its visually stunning displays, the true soul of Fulton Palm lies within the symphony of sounds that fill the air. As one steps into this enchanting space, they are immediately greeted by the energetic hum of lively conversations and laughter echoing through the air. It is a place where people gather to share ideas, collaborate on projects, and feel like active participants in the city's ever-evolving campus. Each footstep reverberates with the excitement of possibility as the bustling sound of activity becomes a testament to the palpable energy that pulses through the heart of the arts district. Whether it be the melodious strumming of a street musician's guitar, or the harmonious chatter of passionate artists discussing the latest creations. The soundscape at Holton Palm acts as a melodic backdrop, warmly inviting both locals and visitors to immerse themselves fully into the vibrant spirit of the community. Here, the symphony of life harmonizes with the artistic rhythm of the district, uplifting souls, stirring creativity, and weaving the strands of connection that ultimately bring people together. For within the auditory tapestry of Holton Palm, one can truly feel and hear the beating heart of the community. We can, let's just make this place cool because this is where we are. Right, you right. You know, so let's like, you know, let's just bloom where we're planted. You truly have and bloomed where you're planted. That's really what we're doing. So everything, yeah. So, and, and I think in turn, it, it makes you more endear, in, endearing to the community because it, it just makes you feel more dug in, you know, having that, you know, naming things after this, the city and the streets and just, you know, making yourself a part yeah. of where you're at makes yourself a part of where you're at. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean.